Welcome to Museum Holic. I'm your host and Pasek and today I am bringing you another episode for how many museum out there in the world that talks about. I want you to stay tuned and then we will start. We can't just forget them. They are part of a history and we can't even change what is written from the past. What is the correct way to say it? What is the proper way to say it? Is it indigenous, aboriginal, native Indian or native, or native of some sort of in their country? No originally agreed term by the United Nations. In fact, the United Nations have their terms on the following definition of that that will help you or for me to understand is it in a category of indigenous, aboriginal, native. So I want you to uh, look at the screen but I'm gonna say it in anyway. Why is it so important? the indigenous culture whatever our culture or the indigenous culture it creates or provides the identity the essence of where they belong or where I belong or where you belong So in all continents, there's always indigenous, aboriginal, native. So today I will have to not divide, but to discuss of all the continents, because it's very important to understand and to identify them. Or sometimes it's very hard to identify because uh, most of us have uh, mixed already. But even today, you can still see the difference through the hair, the teeth, the color of the skin, and most especially the language, their dialect. And that's how we identify them. In each continent, there's always indigenous. So there are seven continents, Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Antarctica, and Australia. So I'm gonna mention to you, and I'm gonna show that on the screen as well, what are those indigenous people because it's very important to to know them and understand and most of all pay respect to them let's start in canada there are three groups of indigenous people in canada according to canadian constitution Act 1982 are Indians, Maitis, and Inuit. Correct me if I'm wrong, if my pronunciation is not right. Now let's talk about Europe. The vast majority of Europe's indigenous people can be found in the Arctic region. The Sami people live in Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Russia. Previously known in English as Lafflander, and there is other names as well that they are known for. Now let's talk about Asia. So this is big continent, but I will focus in Southeast Asia. 
meeting, going, visiting local tribe people when you are on a trip going to Asia, I think the best thing to do is to visit local communities with a combination of tribal meetings, some sort of community. Because in that sense, you get to know them because some of them are actually out of reach in the society. One more thing I want to add in Southeast Asia, indigenous people, is to do your research before heading out on your journey, like excursion. And museums are the best, best resources that will guide you that specialize in indigenous people and also travel agency that specialize in this type of excursion because they know where are these people are and of course you can trust them and the money that you pay it will goes directly to the community to this tribal now let's talk about north america as I mentioned earlier, Canada is part of North America and United States. So, how about in South America and Latin America? So, it's very confusing all those continents. And in fact, when you look at the indigenous people in in uh, this country or continents, there's similarity of them. And I will give only an example, the uh, Inca in Peru. As you can see on the screen... This is popular, a uh, tourist destination, and where Incas build this. Let's talk about Australia. I don't know if you're going to believe in this, but the indigenous people in Australia is the oldest of all indigenous people in the world. It means that... Uh, Beside from the other continents, the indigenous people in Australia is much more oldest in terms of how long this continent was formed. But uh, all we can do is find this information more in this museum, National Museum of Australia and the Museum of Contemporary Art Australia. So I guess there's more other museum that I will put on the description link below in Australia and some other continents. Let's talk about Africa. This continent is as mysterious as it is as beautiful. Africa is not the original name of this continent. Original name according to expert and research, the African continent was named Aki Bulan. Translate to Mother of Mankind or the Garden of Eden. Alkibula is an extremely old word and the origin is from indigenous most common. Second theory aimed to discuss the name of Africa. It actually came from Phoenician sailor or Phoenician explorers and the theory called Africa the land of the corn of fruits meaning the Phoenician called Africa corn and fruits so it means probably that this continent 
there's a lot of corn and fruits in it. So obviously that's why the Phoenician explorer named this. And then the other theories also is the Phoenician explorer or Phoenician inhabited the cities along the coast of the Mediterranean and it is quite possible that they discovered Africa and the other theories that's why they call this is a land that is free from the cold weather and in a Greek word it's called Apriki if you can see on the screen different spelling but it sounds similar to Africa but it's a Greek word majority of native African can be considered to be indigenous they originated from the continent and nowhere else what's the relation between museum and indigenous typically a museum would take or ask from indigenous communities to get their samples of arts artifacts to be displayed at the museum and have a curator to create or a community from the indigenous people to curate for them and in that sense the public will understand the origin of that piece don't forget to check the description link below because there are lots of information about museums in each of the continents. It may not all of that, but at least you have the information that when you are in that continent or in that country, then you have an idea. Okay, I want to visit to this museum and will tell me more about the history of this country. So, of course, the best location is to visit local museums and support them as well. Until next time, this is your host, Anne Pasek, and we will continue the episode of How Many Museum that talks about. So, next time, we will talk about coffee. Everybody wants to drink coffee, no matter what, hot water, cold water, coffee is coffee. So until next time and enjoy the summer.